All right, so after installing VirtualBox, the next thing that I want to do is to download a copy of a Windows 10 Professional. So I'm going to open my browser. I'm going to head over the, uh, to the address bar and I'm going to type Windows 10 Pro ISO download. And I'm going to click on the first link, which is for Windows 10 uh, disk image. Here I'm going to scroll down until I see download tool now. I'm going to click on it. All right, so once the download is complete, I'm going to open the file manager and click on the downloads uh, directory. Here I'm going to search for media creation tool. Press enter. And I'm going to right click on it and copy it to my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to double click on it. All right, so next I'm going to scroll down to the license agreement and I want to click accept. All right, so next I want to click on create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file. Click next. I want to accept all the defaults. I'm going to leave everything as it is and I'm going to click next. Here I'm going to select ISO file, click next. I want to select a folder where I want to save the image, where I want the image to be downloaded. I'm going to select my downloads directory and I want to click save. So now the Windows 10 image is being downloaded to my hard drive and uh, I'm going to get up in and grab a cup of coffee. All right, so once the download is finished, I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Now I want to go back to VirtualBox and I'm going to click on tools and I want to create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to click on new. This is going to start the new virtual machine wizard. For the name, I'm going to name it Windows 10 Pro 2, since I already have a Windows 10 Pro 1. The rest is going to be as default and I'm going to click next. For uh, the amount of memory that I want to assign to this virtual machine, I'm going to set it to 4,048 and I'm going to click next, that's four gigs. For the type of hard drive, I'm going to create a new, a new virtual hard drive, click create. It's going to be a VDI type of hard drive. Click next. It's going to be dynamically allocated, meaning that I won't assign the whole full of uh, the whole full size of the hard drive at once. So it will grow as the uh, virtual machine needs more space. I'm going to click next. For the space, I'm going to leave it as 50 gigs for the hard drive. I'm going to click create. Once the virtual machine has been created, I'm going to click on settings as I need to adjust a few settings here before uh, starting the installation. I'm going to click on advanced and for share clipboard, I want to select a bidirectional and the same for drag and drop. This is going to allow me to copy and paste uh, text between the host operating system and the uh, guest operating system. And data encryption, not going to do anything there. By the way, you, if you decide to later change the name, you can uh, change it here. I'm going to click on system. Here you can adjust the size of the, um, of the RAM, of the memory. So if you don't have enough memory on your, um, on your computer, you can select, uh, for example, three or maybe even two gigabytes, which is, is not advisable. And given the fact that virtual machine uh, need memory uh, in order to run, uh, they need plenty of memory in order to run. For the processor, I'm going to leave it as one processor. You can change the number here. Next, I'm going to come here to display. I'm going to leave it as 128 megabits for the uh, video memory. And going to click on storage and here where it says empty, this is your CD DVD uh, emulator. I'm going to click on this drop down menu here and I'm going to click on choose a disk file. 
and I'm going to select the image that I downloaded from Microsoft. I believe the name of the image is Windows. It's an ISO file, so I'm going to click um, asterisk.iso. See, that gives me any results. Here we go. I'm going to click open. And I want to also click on live CD DVD, which is going to allow me to boot the, um, the uh, computer from the ISO image. And finally, I'm going to click on network. I want to make sure my computer, my virtual machine, is inside the net, the NAT network. I'm going to click OK, and finally, I'm going to hit start. All right, and this is going to start the Windows 10 installation. On the first screen, I'm going to select the default language is English. Um, the current the currency format is going to be English and the keyboard layout is going to be US. Click next and click install now. All right, so in this section, we need to enter the Windows key, the product key, which we don't have. We are going to use it as a, um, we are going to use the evaluation uh, period from Windows. So I'm going to say, I don't have a key. Now I'm going to select the version of Windows that I want to install. I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro. Click Next. I'm going to scroll down and accept the license agreement. Click Next. And I'm going to click on Custom Install. Here I have only one hard drive, which is 50 gigs. I'm going to let Windows partition and format the hard drive for me. So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to accept the defaults. Click apply. Click OK. All right. And finally, I'm going to click next. At this stage, the, um, the Windows installation is copying the files from the, uh, uh, from the CD or ISO image into the hard drive to later uh, proceed with installing the operating system. Once the installation ISO image finished copying the uh, files from the uh, disk to the hard drive, the virtual machine is going to restart and then we're going to be prompted with the setup wizard. So the setup wizard, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to select the region. I'm going to leave it United States and I'm going to click yes. Is this the right keyboard layout? US, click yes. Want to add a second keyboard? skip in this screen we need to uh, make a selection whether this will be an installation for personal use or um, this machine will be part of an organization i'm going to select the first one click next the installation of the setup is prompting me to enter my email address and this is if you want to uh, connect your computer to your online accounts but in this section I'm going to select offline account. I'm going to click on limited experiences. I'm not going to enter an email account. This will be a uh, setup for the virtual machine. Next, I'm going to enter my name. And I'm going to click next. So now I'm going to enter, I'm going to select the password. Make sure you remember this password. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to confirm the password. Click next. Now right here, you need to select three security questions. And press next. In this section, we need to select uh, the privacy settings for the installation. I'm going to turn off location, uh, turn off diagnosis of data, as all of these are services that are going to be running in the background, and this is a virtual machine. So I want to limit the number of services that are running um, simultaneously. And I'm going to click accept. All right, in the next screen, uh, we need to uh, customize 
the uh, the experience of the operating system of the user experience. So I'm going to select business and then click accept. Do you want to use Cortana? I'm going to click not now. So once the installation is complete, we got this uh, prompt here, this message um, saying that do you want the do you want to allow the PC to be discoverable by other PCs on the network? I'm going to click no.